I'm Caroline Wilbur. My name is uh, Damian Santos, or Damian Raymond Santos, but uh, the people usually call me, my family usually call me Ray, Ray. I went to an orthopedic doctor and uh, we got an x-ray and he just like noticed something looked wrong on the x-ray. So we went for an MRI and then he called my mom and told me uh, to go to MD Anderson. Uh, one day I was running to the bus because I was late. So as I'm approaching it, all of a sudden I just slipped. Uh, to this day, I don't know what I slipped on. But from that point on, I started limping for a few weeks and then I went to the doctors and then we found out. Oh gosh, um, my initial response to my diagnosis was, uh, it was like, I can't, I, I can't forget it. Like, um, I just cried and cried and cried, but I was also in shock. Like, you feel like you have like all the feelings of like sadness and depression and just feel like your world's ending, but you also feel numb in a way. I think I, I, I was in denial. Like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like, I, a majority of the time, I thought I, maybe I could have just had a cramp, but they were saying it was osteosarcoma, so I said, wow. I faced a lot of challenges. Um, just kind of uh, my body being at war with itself. Uh, feeling bad every day like that's a struggle like uh, people waking up and just saying like oh I don't feel good today and then the next day you wake up and you feel fine like um, when I get chemo I get progressively worse and so um, I may feel bad the next day but when I wake up I'll feel worse the next day and so uh, that's very challenging uh, trying to walk again uh, trying to cope with the fact that I lost uh, all my hair as well. Uh, advice I would give someone going through something similar is um, just stay positive. Like you have your days where you're just mad at the world and like that's okay, you can be mad because like this sucks, like it really sucks. And um, just think that there's like there is the other side of the tracks like there is like better times and like i'm gonna beat this i'm gonna get better and i just gotta stay positive through it because it really changes kind of your like your body physically if you are uh, happy and a lot of tests have shown that people who are more positive through cancer treatment have better uh outlooks and better um prognosis is through their treatment. What do you plan to do once you're finished with the treatments? I plan to go to college and uh, take a break from the cancer world. But I really want to um, help others, uh, you know, get through cancer treatment and tell them that I got through it and they can get through it. And I would really love to help uh, cancer research and help fund that just because childhood cancer, especially sarcomas, aren't uh, heavily funded. I say to stay positive and to not give up. And if things are seeming really bad, uh, stay positive, talk to family members who can bring your spirit up and talk to close friends. Um, I kind of took for granted time in a way. Um, just, you know, the precious time you have, like people procrastinating and saying like, oh, I'm gonna do that later on, or I'm gonna be a good person later on in life, like once I get out of high school. But like, you need to be a good person now because like, you never know when like the tragedy's gonna strike or, you know, you might, you know, be in the hospital or you might die. Sadly to say, you know, time is not in our favor. Uh, before any of this happened, I, um, I didn't really like have much of an optimistic uh, attitude a majority of time of the time. But now um, I'm, I'm trying to be more, more and more happy about things and do not take anything for granted.